Oh boy, it is a chilly one outside today. We're getting hit with a little bit of snow. Sarah, the weather lady, said there was going to be, we're supposed to get 8 to 10 inches of snow. The wind's supposed to pick up. It's going to be a cold one. And where did Rex... Where'd Rex go? Yo, Rex! Treat! Oh, you better not be messing with the squirrels. There he is. Nope. Watch the fence. No, hey, this way, Rex. There you go. Who's a good boy, Rex? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Go fetch. Okay. While Rex is distracted, we got some trucking we got to do here. Um, we also truck in the winter months and in the summer months when we're not busy with row crop. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hold on, Rex. I'm talking to the camera. Go get her. But anyways, we have a couple contracts. One is a Demco 1200 grain cart. That's just b probably barely going to fit on this trailer. And so we got to go truck that. They need it moved today in the middle of a blizzard when it's snowing. Uh, the s roads, they're barely even plowed right now. Well, they're kind of plowed. So we're going to see if the old Mac uh, can haul her. And then on top of that, I bought two trucks. One is a Ram 350 Dually. This is an amazing truck, or other known as mod. Yes, it is. We're going to push some snow at the lot to clear it so I can even get out with the semi. Because right now, there's just too much snow. The semi is barely going to make it out. So we're going to go push snow at the farm. And then also, I bought another first gen Cummins too that we got to pick up. And this thing is in mint condition. Has 37,000 miles on her. I probably shouldn't have it up, have it out even in the salt and snowy roads. But, yeah, there is no but. But we're going to push some snow so we can at least get the semi out of here. Oh, yeah. There is no way this Cummins is not going to push some snow. She's going to get through everything. We should probably be pushing to the other side. Perfect. Now, the only thing missing from this truck is cab lights. You have to have cab lights on a truck like this. It's a first-gen Cummins dually. We need to have cab lights. There we go. I should get a V plow for this truck is what I should do. Now Giant Software, if you're watching this, which I'm sure you're not, but one request that would be awesome is if I could get Rex in the passenger seat of this, of the first gen. That way Rex can enjoy the first gen too. Well, when I woke up, she was looking at me. She told me I've been cheating on her in her dream. Lord, it wasn't the thing. We should be able to get the truck out of here. First of all, I hope it starts. It should start, and then I think we can get it rolling here. Otherwise, we'll have to shovel it out, or we'll just give it a push with the snowplow. We're going to give her a go and see if she'll get out of here. Come on. Come on. Rex, we'll see you later. Oh, boy. It is going to be an icy and snowy road here, and I think the snow is supposed to pick up, too. we got to be careful here. Keep her in high gear and low RPM. On the bright side, nobody's really out. Oh, besides Karen. There's Karen. Wave to Karen. And we're not going too far. I'd say we have about 20 mile drive to the farm. And then we got to take the interstate back over and deliver it to its location. And then my truck that I purchased, we're actually going to try and toss on the back of the flatbed, I, I'm thinking. Uh-oh. This is going to be a little iffy. We're downshifting here. Come on. You guys can see, I got my gear selector here, but you guys can see, if you look closely on the bottom right, you can see what gear I'm in, actually, on this Mac. So I'm in fourth gear right now. We're just trying to climb her. I don't even have any weight on me. Put the hazards on here. There we go. Well, I see something red back there. I think that's the grain cart. Okay, let's figure out how we're going to get in here and get turned around. Uh, I got to talk to the guy quick. 
I'm gonna jump out. There he is. Well, I think he said the best way to get in here is gonna be take this entrance because I can't get around there that way. If I can make this turn here. And we're gonna... Uh, this is the thing about trucking. They send you out to truck on the snowiest day and need it transported. And they say, hey, you gotta transport a grain cart. And they don't tell you about the gosh dang tractor that's hooked up to it that needs transported also. They want both of these moved. They sold both of these at an online auction and need both of these moved. So we gotta somehow get through here. First of all, I don't even know if this is gonna be legal. Wait. Well, we should be fine. Uh, we're going down the interstate. We're not going too far. So we gotta transport this Magnum 400. I agreed to a price, but the guy said he he's gonna pay me extra, I guess. And then we gotta also transport this Demco. Here we go. This is gonna be a load and a half for the Mac on a blizzard snowy day. Let's do it. Hey, at least he let me drive it. That's kinda cool. We did measure out the length. Length is gonna be there if I can get the Magnum up on the second deck of the trailer. That's gonna be our toughest part. Luckily for me though, we're gonna have a lot of weight on the back of the semi. So we should handle better in the snow, hopefully. There we go, we'll get her climbing. Heck, I may be better off just say, just taking the transportation money and then just driving the tractor there. It's about 40 miles to its destination. Yep, I think it's gonna fit. I don't know about the cart back there though. And I don't know how we're gonna... There we... Wow. I, I'm having struggles getting this up here because I gotta... It's hard on the tractor trying to climb this. It, the trailer's made for it. It's built for it, but trying to get this tractor up here and then the grain cart's just barely wide enough, so it's... Well, we'll, we'll give it another try here. Well, it's just not gonna work. I tried getting up here. It's just too dangerous. I'm gonna break something. On top of that, we're in the middle of a blizzard. We're gonna have to just hold the cart separately and we're gonna have to come back when we're gonna make two loads because that's what we planned on pretty much, so... This is tough. I'm basically blindsided. I'm by myself. Holy Toledo. Come on. Oh, we got to be close. Keep going. Ah. We're going to try and pull forward a bit here. One of the, the left track is starting to come off. Come on. Gosh, that's got to be about it, right? No. Well, we couldn't make it that time. We're going to give it a couple more shots here. This is a struggle and a half. Oh my gosh, we're scraping up this cart too. We got it. We got it on the trailer. I got to make sure these ramps clear, but we got this loaded down and on the trailer. This is going to be a wide load. That is how much margin of error I had on the tracks. And the tracks are barely on them. It's kind of tough on this. We really should be having a wider trailer, but wow. Yeah, I got like an inch on both sides. This is... I think it's going to work. Okay, she's strapped down. The Demco is a lot bigger than I thought. I don't know what I was thinking trying to even get the Magnum on there. That thing just takes up the whole trailer pretty much. 40, 45 miles. Here we go. We'll put her in drive. We'll get trucking. Luckily for us, it's not too heavy of a cart. It looks big, but it's not crazy, crazy heavy. We are getting decent traction as we're going up here. I can tell we're slipping a little bit, but we're making it. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Momentum. There we go. Well, the roads don't look too, too bad through here. Um, let's check out the interstate. So we're going over the overpass right now. Yeah, they're bad. That's pretty bad for an interstate. I'm seeing one car on there. Yeah, we should be good. Okay, fingers crossed. Here we go. We're going to get on the on-ramp and we're going to hit the road here.
<laughs> Let's see what this Mac has. Get some speed, start shifting up here. Yep, 11th, 12th, 13th. We'll try to get to 40 mile an hour here. That's the fastest I want to go. Anybody coming? Well, we're going to take the lane. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, bridge, be careful for ice. Okay, yeah, 30 mile an hour. That's as fast as I want to go now. Not even 40. We're just going to idle her low and we're going to cruise along here down the interstate. Two cars out. That's probably Buck making a beer run. Oh, we got traffic coming up on us. Okay, guys, take it easy here. These people are crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Holy crap. We got to pull up. We got to put the hazards on. We got to pull over. I saw this coming down there. Big John said he saw this up here, too. We got to pull over. Make sure these guys are okay. Holy Toledo. There's skid marks all across here. Hold on, Janet. Oh, my gosh. It looks like somebody must have took them to the hospital or their home. It must have happened a little while ago, I'm thinking, too. I can't believe they don't have it taped off or police on scene, but nobody's in there. So they must have gotten taken to the hospital, I think. Oh, my gosh. That Ford is messed up there. Yeah, you too. Safe travels. Wow. They could have at least shut off the car. That Ford is messed up. The tire is going through the engine. And if I look from it... They must have skidded and turned all around and then got all tangled and stuff. Wow. Well, let's keep hitting the road. I'm seeing a couple more cars out. It's starting to snow a little more. Uh, I think the heaviest snow is coming in later tonight, though. We'll try to keep her a little bit above 30. And I think this is our exit right here. Yep, slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. Oh, come on, handle it, handle it. Oh gosh, oh gosh, we took out the signs over there. Come on, brakes, 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 brakes. Oh. Son of a god. Oh gosh, let's just make it worse. Let's just run over it with 18 wheels right here. We have one last hill to climb. We should be able to climb that, but get decent traction. I don't think we'll have to put the chains on here. Enjoy nature as we try and climb an icy road. Yeah. Well, we're going to give her, we're going to give some speed. If I feel it slipping, I'm just going to start slowing down, downshifting here. Here we go. Come on, don't stall her, don't stall her. There we go. We can handle 15th gear, it seems like. Yeah, downshift. Downshift. Well, that wasn't too bad through here. I got to figure out, come on. Oh, come on. We're going to try and rock her here. It's just a patch of ice. Backwards. Okay, forward. Here we go. We got momentum. There we go. We made it. We made it. So the deal is here. I talked to the farmer. Uh, he's going to bring a tractor down and unload. He actually farms his house and his sheds kind of up on a hill. And his farms are down in the river valley here. He's going to bring a tractor down and get it unloaded for me. So, this is going to work out perfect. Well, it stopped snowing for the meantime. We made it back and we got it unloaded there. It took about five hours to get it unloaded, but we're making it back before nightfall at least. And it actually stopped snowing. I guess another round's going to hit us later tonight. It's going to hit us harder. And it snowed and it added up because I pushed snow here. Wow. Well, I guess we got to push some snow again. I'd like to get this semi inside under the roof, especially when this next round of snow hits, but... Wow. And where's Rex at? Huh. Rex! Oh. Oh. Anyways, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this heavy haul video. Seriously, thanks for watching it, guys. Me and Rex appreciate it. And hey, he's, he's excited. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.